This is a tribute to my fellow Presbyterian women across our denomination for the recent grants you accorded to the ministries of our partners in Central Africa. Your contributions to the 2007 birthday offering have in various ways supported educational and health ministries in Congo to battle root causes of poverty. School children of six elementary and secondary schools in the provinces of Bakongo and Bandundu are now sheltered from the blazing sun and violent rains. In good conversation and partnership, the Presbyterian Church of Kinshasa first built the structures with community support for the birthday offering to come in and help put up the roofs. In the East and West Kasai, funds from the same grant serve the church to construct an entire six-classroom elementary school. The students are further enjoying a better education since their teachers participated in training seminars organized by the church's education department and paid for through the birthday offering. Teachers were supplied with books to help them better prepare their lessons and educational supervisors can now do their job thanks to the purchase of motorcycles to bridge the distances between the 702 Presbyterian schools they have to visit. The 2007 birthday offering also helped support a Moringa feeding program for malnourished children at the Good Shepherd Mission Hospital. In Congo, 37% of children under 5 are chronically malnourished and supplementing their diets with ground-up leaves from the Moringa tree significantly reduces malnutrition. The program includes the distribution of seeds and cuttings for Moringa, the processing of leaves for nutrition centers and weaning food cookies, and the dissemination of promotional and educational materials. Last but not least, the offering served to do repairs on church hospital guest houses that host church groups and medical teams from the U.S. and other medical professionals and volunteers visiting the church's various health facilities in the area. A year ago, in Kananga, the capital of the West Kasai province, the Presbyterian community carefully selected 40 girls for an after-school program with courses in information technology and English. Thanks to the thank offering, they constitute a new generation of young, computer-savvy Presbyterian women with greater opportunities for future employment. The same grant helped pay for secondary education and vocational training of girls from the rural town of Bulape. Besides the birthday and thank offerings, Presbyterian Women has a special account for the Congo Development Project. In past years, these funds helped the development program of the Presbyterian Church in East Kasai, PRODAC, to work with schools, hospitals and women groups and establish plantations of dwarf palm oil trees. Palm oil is the popular cooking oil in every Congolese household and it provides children with much needed vitamin A. The cultivation of oil palm groves and production of palm oil is a rather feasible income-generating activity and the church hopes to increase the financial capacity of its communities and their institutions through this project. In any case, most church members in this area are farmers. For the lack of transportation means and poor infrastructure, they have great difficulty getting their crops to the market. With donations that came in through the same Congo Development Project account, PRODEC started a loan program for the initial purchase of 300 bicycles so farmers can transport their crops. From the repayments, another 180 bicycles were bought. From the same account, hospitals and health centers from both denominations receive mattresses to better accommodate the patients attending their facilities and the Presbyterian community of Kinshasa will put one more roof on a secondary school in Bakongo. Just last year, you Presbyterian women of the PCUSA came alongside your Congolese sisters and empowered them by financing seminars on women's rights, in particular to underscore the plight of widows. Cultural traditions deprive widows from all they had shared with their husbands, from their home, their farmland, to their children, 
and they often are forced to marry their late husband's brother. Your support through the thank offering has encouraged them to better stand up against these gender-based injustices and change ingrained cultural practices. In the long run, this will improve the quality of life for girls, women and their families in society. Shifting our focus to Cameroon, Presbyterian Women has recently supported a fair trade dried fruit project of Relufa, a non-profit partner organization of the Presbyterian Hunger Program. The project provides extra income for fruit farmers who were taken off their field by an international fruit company and for women dryers in their community. A grant from the thank offering is helping our Cameroonian partners to implement their farm-to-market strategy to make the project more sustainable. Besides your support through the Presbyterian Women offerings, I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks for your contributions to the One Great Hour of Sharing that have helped finance my hunger ministries in Cameroon and also for your general support to the denomination that allowed Jeff and me to stay in mission service with our partners through our church. Merci, Presbyterian Women.